Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Top Hospital Awards for 2017. The NHS is fantastic. And not just the NHS, but all the other independent and overseas healthcare providers that are here tonight, you also do a fantastic job. And we are really proud in CHKS to work with you because it's that partnership which hopefully makes things happen. Turning to the CHKS Top Hospital Awards, um, these are all about celebrating and encouraging improvement, innovation, excellence, sharing knowledge um, between other people and generating improved performance. So our expert analysts in CHKS pour over all the publicly available data and they work out who are the winners. And there are the obvious awards for um, patient safety, quality of care, patient experience and data quality. And this year there's an additional um, award for healthcare efficiency. And all the shortlisted trusts for that award are proven that they can kind of do the impossible which is um, deliver cost-effective service, but not compromise quality and safety, which is obviously um, you know, a very challenging thing to do. So it's absolutely a, a massive honour for us as, a, as an organisation and for all our staff that work so, so hard um, year in, day, day in, day out. Um, you know, one of the top priorities always at the Royal Surrey has, has been patient safety, and this is a very clear reflection on how passionate they are about making sure our patients are safe and in trust. To be recognised for outstanding quality of care is really important. I'm sure that in terms of the values of all my colleagues throughout the organisation, that's over 3,000 employees, that's really important because what we really sign up to is delivering high quality of care. So compared with other hospitals, CHKS top hospitals have 26% fewer planned elective procedures that don't take place. They have a 5% shorter length of stay. They have a 4% lower mortality index and they are better on 50% of patient safety indicators. If all hospitals achieve the same level of performance as the top hospitals, across England, Wales and Northern Ireland alone, there will be 1.6 million fewer bed days and over 2,000 fewer cancelled procedures. So if you are a CHKS top hospital and you get one of these wonderful things, you should be very proud of that because it does actually mean something which is a level of excellence and performance which is way above what the average hospital does. We take patient experience really seriously, we invest a lot of time and effort into it and we feed back to our frontline staff all the information we get from our patients. To me it is one of the most powerful tools we have that tells us how our service is performing. Knowing what the patients who experienced our service over the last two to three weeks thought about that delivery is really important. It helps teams to understand changes, how things have changed when service changes and how the patients feel about their care. We use it as one of the most important measures in monitoring our service. I think we're really excited to win this award tonight. It means an awful lot to us. It's the uh highlight really of the last two years of really hard work. It's um, improved the patient experience no end and um, it means that we're able to accurately record and bill and just record all the patient activity. It, it makes a difference for, from all, all areas of the organisation. We are absolutely thrilled to receive this award. It's recognition for all the hard work that has, that has gone on for all of ourselves, our colleagues. Um, it's been a really difficult and tough year, this year particularly. Um, we've gone live with a new EPR system, we've gone live with a new data warehouse in the last 12 months and throughout all of that our colleagues have been tremendous in their enthusiasm and their diligence in trying to make sure that our data quality continues to underpin all the hard work for the organisation. Um, it shows, showcases our performance, particularly a great credit to our clinical coders who work incredibly hard to make sure that our coding is incredibly 
um, of very high quality. So at a local level, our motto is making a difference every day. And as a team effort, I think this really shows that we do make a difference at every level. We focus on the data to try and make sure you know, it, it's a real reflection of how brilliant the team works, how brilliant the consultants and the, all the clinical staff work. Um, and we support that. So everybody at Kingston Hospital comes to work to do the very best they can for the patients with the resources available to them. So to have that recognised by this award is just amazing. Now, our job in CHKS, which as you know is, is part of Capita, is to help you guys by supporting you on the journey, doing innovation, creating new things, creating new services, listening to you, doing new stuff which can help you to further improve and investing some of the cash that you give us in developing those new things. An example is our I Compare benchmarking product, which a lot of you use. Um, over the last 12 months, we've expanded that to support commissioner decision making. So we've extended it to some additional capabilities. In our sister company, Symbio, which is part of the same stable, we've done a lot of work over the last year in terms of um, helping hospitals and trusts to better manage patient records, um, get their reporting slicker and improve their management of waiting lists. You would find, if you went to the people that work in CHKS, that they are very excited about that. They're excited about the potential that data and information and new digital technologies can bring to healthcare to help it improve. So in conclusion, I hope you have a fantastic evening. CHKS is really proud to be working with you. Thank you. Yeah, lovely evening, fantastic atmosphere, good speaker, absolutely superb, a uh, good chance to engage with various people from various trusts up and down the country, absolutely superb. I think hearing from Manuel Fine about crossing both poles over a three year period was pretty inspiring. You can't really beat that sort of a story. And if we can take that back to our work in the NHS, then we'll at least a little bit of that back.